What's going on? Y'all ha! <laughs> oh, play way too much. Play too much. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back to another quick tutorial on how to work those Pacific muscles. Get that contraction. Motivational video to reach your goals. All that old good stuff. Today, I'm gonna tell y'all something real quick. You can literally ask the cameraman, y'all. Like, whenever I'm in a gym, I become creative. And that's what keeps me going. Like, to have that creativity in a gym is something that's always good for me since I've been doing it for like a lot longer. So I always go in the gym and try to be creative. So if it's trying a different position, if it's like trying to rotate or bend in a certain way, with proper form, like I'ma do it. Like I'ma try it. And if I feel that contraction, but if I can feel that contraction, then I know it's working. Like talking that specific muscle is something I always talk about. So if I'm trying anything in the gym, um, and if it's talking that muscle, y'all, I'ma do it. My cameraman is such a creep because he keep looking to the left and right and it's making me seem like somebody coming. And y'all know how I am when it comes to people around me. I get a little flustered and weird. All right, so look, I'm working on the chest, y'all. I'm working on the chest. And I'm gonna do like three different variations. So y'all know my magic number is one, two, three. It's like my magic is one, two, three, three variations and eight to 12 reps. Y'all know that's what I'm sticking with. So this one is three different variations. But I want y'all to know like, I was doing this and I realized like, this really works. Like this contraction I feel is something crazy. So this one right here, I'm literally, trying it for the first time and if i fail y'all will see it because i'm not editing this is all me all of me loves hard okay. so the first one i'm talking about my upper pectoral my upper pectoral you know what that is javi you're up for chess for some people that that's irky <laughs> so my upper chest, I'm talking my upper chest. And I feel like with this, so I'm gonna do a single arm, uh, it's gonna be a dumbbell fly. And I'm gonna do a single arm dumbbell fly. And I want you to notice how I'm alternating each part of this, uh, each part of this block, just so I can get a good stretch, good range of motion, good contraction, all that beautiful stuff I'm talking. And with this, I'm going super light, y'all. Like I'm going super light. As far as any exercise that I do, and I want to get like a, a good full range of motion when it comes to like my upper part of my chest, just so I won't, just my chest in general, just so I won't put too much stress on my uh, on my shoulders. I normally go real light, y'all, real light. And that's at like a heavy, uh, at the heavy push exercise. Um, so let's get her done, get her done, Dale. Who's Dale? Greg, Gregorio, get her done, Gregorio. <laughs> Working the left pec. I'm sliding all the way over to the left part of the block, just so I can get that range of motion. Because if I'm here, if I'm here, you don't, I'm not getting that range of motion. I'm starting from literally this motion. But I want to get that full stretch in that pec. So I'm starting here, and I'm dropping, I'm dropping my hips. So I won't start here, because I'm going to be talking more sort of the middle part of the chest. I want to drop my hips so I can be on an incline angle. And I'm getting that full stretch. Come. And I'm keeping that dumbbell right across my clavicle. Right across my clavicle. The stretching. And as you see, I'm rotating that hand as I come to the top of that exercise just to get that, y'all know what I'm talking about, that extra contraction. Eight to 12. And then I rotate arms. But y'all know I got a bad rotator's cuff. And this right here, lightweight, I don't feel no pressure or no like discomfort in my rotator's cuff. Stretch. Keep that dumbbell right across that clap. So you can target the upper part of your chest. Eight of those. Yo, that feels so good. Lightweight, lightweight. Second one is a, like uh, just a standard push up. But what I'm doing is I'm using this block just so I can get that elevation and that stretch I need uh, as far as 
targeted packs. Stretch, same thing I keep reiterating. Stretch, proper range of motion. A good follow up, y'all. I feel like I do a lot of talk and that's when I start to repeat myself. But I got a lot to say, y'all. I got a lot to say and I just want to tell y'all because if it weren't for y'all, Give me a second. It's like if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be right here, y'all. But let me get her done. So same concept, I'm pushing with my left arm. So I'm gonna keep the right arm for my balance, for my base. So same thing, but I feel like with this, when I'm doing this push-up, I'm able to come into that block and get that range of motion I need. Coming to that block. Get that range of motion I need. Coming to that block, range of motion I need. And this right here is the assist you as well. If you feel like you're getting a failure, just use that as well to brace yourself. Eight to 12 reps, y'all. Let me show you what I'm gonna say. Now remember y'all, this is, I have a bad shoulder and I'm feeling no pain at all in my shoulder. Same concept, coming to that block, Coming to that block. And all you're doing is rotating into that block to give yourself that what? That what, Javi? Uh, damn it. Uh, he done messed up. That extra range of motion, y'all. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. It was a tick of my tongue, bro. Too late, Javi. Too late. <laughs> too late, bro. Like, off of just this two variations, I'm literally feeling the pump. Like, I'm feeling that pump. And the last variation is gonna be an incline. No, yes, an incline on the block. But I want y'all to know is how I step back into the block just so I can target those upper pectorials, those, that upper chest more. So instead of doing it like this, I'm gonna step into it. Not step into it. Bring my hands back closer to the block. You're gonna target your you're gonna target your front delts as well. But this is a good oh god, I should be talking while I'm doing this. Oh. Oh. I see the agility. Three variations, y'all, that y'all have to try. I'm gonna keep giving y'all different things that y'all can do and I am doing. Like literally most of these variations that I'm showing y'all. I have, let me take that back. I have done a similar thing, but just to do those three variations in a row, like a lot of things I've been teaching y'all or showing y'all, um, it's just a different contraction, y'all. Something crazy. So these little short clips, y'all, I'm gonna definitely keep giving y'all these. I'm gonna keep giving y'all these, I promise you. Um, eventually I'm gonna start doing like the whole workout routine, but I figure a lot of things that I wanna share with y'all. Maybe I'll start doing a workout routine, a full workout routine, if I start prepping for anything or if I want to like compete or compete with myself. You know, just to set another goal. Uh, all right, y'all. Definitely had to share that with y'all. Definitely had to share that with y'all. Try it, give it a try. And whatever you do, make sure you do it the right way. Please don't, please don't uh, hurt yourself while you're doing this. Like proper form is always necessary. Every exercise you do for the first time, I would advise to take your time, do it slow, uh, feel it right, and feel that proper uh, movement or contraction or that certain muscle group that you're working. Make sure you feel like it. If you feel it anywhere else, you gotta ask yourself like, am I doing it right? Am I performing this exercise right? Proper form, y'all. All right, so that's definitely it for the day, y'all. Stay tuned for the next one because of course I got something else for y'all. I got something different for y'all. I got something new for y'all. I got a lot of things for y'all. A lot. All right, catch y'all on the next one. If you're new to the channel, please slap that subscribe button. Please hit that like button, that little notification button in the right, left, middle, one of those. Please hit that notification button so you can get every, everything that I'm doing, man, just like today. Something new, Whew. something new, something beautiful, y'all. All right, catch y'all on the next one.